Hi friends, it's Mari. Welcome back to Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this A2 size card today for you using a bunch of different products, including the Sweet On You Gems, the Friend stamp set. I'm going to use one of the sentiments from this set, and then I'm going to cut the word friend using the Companion Honey Cut. So I'll just show you here the one honey cut that I'm going to be using from this die set and just cutting out that word friend in black. I love these scallop A2 card frames. Absolutely love this. It, it's a stitched frame as well. Really love that. And I'm going to use the largest frame there. I also really love this A2 Thin Frames Honey Cuts uh, die. It cuts out all of these frames in one pass. And I'm just going to show you how I used it on my card front here. I created uh, a sort of like a, a, a grouping of pink and then lavender colored frames for my frame today. I will also be using some of the dies from the Spring Bouquets Honey Cuts and gosh, I love that die set too. There's some really, really beautiful products here that I will be using for my process. So here we go. Now I have cut five of those frames from the pink and three from the lilac. Well, I actually cut the whole set from the pink and the whole set from the lilac as well, but I'm just using five of the pink and three of the lilac. And now I've taken my purple tape and I've, um, adhered that to the frame so that they stick together while I stick them to the glue that I have put down on my white cardstock. And this hopefully will make sense to you once you see how I what I'm using this for, but I think you can imagine based on seeing the card at the beginning of the video. So now I'm just gluing those frames onto that glued area in the white cardstock. And I'm showing you that I've also cut out my scallop A2 uh, card frame for my, my card front. And I've also cut out of black the word friend, and I've cut out some daisies and some foliage from the spring bouquets. Now I'm going to trim off that white edge all the way around my frames, just with my scissors, I just cut that off. And now I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of this frame section. And I'm going to just pop that up in that way, giving it some dimension. And I'm going to add that to that scallop A2 card frame. Now I want to take these really adorable little uh, daisies. I'm going to layer them on top of each other to create some dimension. And I'm going to do that using a glue dot. I'm going to glue these together so that the little petals are continuous all the way around. And then I will take another glue dot that I and uh, adhere the center of the daisy, which I have cut out using the honey cut from that spring bouquets with some yellow cardstock. And I'll just use my Studio Cadia tool there to help me get that onto the center of the daisy. I have cut three little leaf sections from the honey cuts again from the spring bouquets to create a little bit of foliage. And I just love that light spring green. I think it's so pretty. And I think it just complements the pink and the yellow and the lavender that's on the card. And now I'm just gonna glue the word friend down to the bottom there. I am going to use the To My Sentiment from the Friend stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp that out using my VersaFine Onyx ink using my mini Misty here and some Nina cardstock and just stamp that out. And then I will just take that over to my trimmer and cut that off into a rectangular shape and it will be ready to add to my card. Now I have added some adhesive to the back of the word friend here and I'm just using my tweezers to adhere that onto the bottom of my card, ensuring that I'm leaving enough room for that sentiment to my, to go above friend. I'll just take the tittle and put that on my eye and just put some a little bit of liquid adhesive down there to get that tittle adhered. And I really love this Studio Cadia wand for placing things. I think that thing is awesome and letting those tweezers help me out as well. I will put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of my sentiment to my and adhere that just above the word friend so that the entire phrase is to my friend. I really love this uh, sentiment. I think it's super pretty and nice and love how this looks when it's all put together. Now I'm going to take that same lavender cardstock that I used in my frames 
um, I'm going to use that as my card base. So I've just uh, trimmed out a piece of cardstock. I'm scoring it in the center. And now that is going to be my, be my card base. I will just glue this card front onto that card base and that will be the finished card. So you'll just see me um, grabbing some tape runner here and I will adhere that to my card base. Just using my Kokio tape runner here to adhere this down. Um, I do like using repositionable adhesive in case you don't get it in the right spot the first time, which is quite common in my card making life. So I do like the repositionable and it's, um, it's just great because once it does stick on there and adhere, it is uh, very, very sticky as well. So it does stay put. So that is all adhered and I love how that looks. The, front, the center of my card is ready for a handwritten message to the recipient. Now I am I'm going to take those Sweet On You gem stickers in the really light pink and I'm going to put three of those down just to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my card. I love finishing my cards off with anything sparkly. I think it just makes them look extra special. And I'm just using my um, pokey tool here to help me grab those off of the sheet. And these gems are super sticky and I love that about them. They stay put, which is awesome. And they just add just that perfect little bit of bling to a card. Uh, when you're finishing it up. So just getting that last one down. And just as I was finishing up my card, my doorbell rang and I received the most awesome package of Happy Mail. And I'm going to show you what I got right away here. So that's my finished card. And there's going to be a little transition here. And now I'm going to show you what I got in this amazing package, including the Paper Hugs stamp and die set so awesome. I absolutely love this. This is part of a recent uh, mini release um, that Honeybee had and I just love this so much. I think it's super adorable including sentiments like I know you're anxious, please know that I'm here for you, etc. I also received all of these stencils from the recent release including the candles that go along with the cover plate and I also received the, and I'm just grabbing these on my desk here, the To The Moon Scene Builder, the In Gear set of two stencils. Um, the, by the way, that Moon Scene Builder includes um, stencil and eight different masks. Um, also, this is the Twinkle Twinkle background stencil, which is just a whole bunch of little stars. It's so cute. And the Farmhouse Builder stencil which of course goes along with the the house builder uh, honey cuts the barn builder and this is a set of four stencils and masks and that is a companion for the recent barn scene builder then the buffalo plaid builder which is a set of two stencils and then the flower builder background stencils and there's two stencils in here and that's a companion to the cover plate or the uh, honey cut with the um, fl flowers on it and the square spotlight stencils and masks this is a set of seven and also the rectangle spotlight stencil and mask set of six and this is the circle spotlight stencils and masks and there's seven pieces in there and then lastly, the oval spotlight stencil and mask, and there's a set of eight there. So wow, I will link to all of those products. Now, I also have the so awesome birthday bash paper pad. So this is a six by six paper pad. It has 24 sheets, two of each design, and I am in love with this. Um, up until this point, Over the Rainbow has been my favorite paper pad. I do have several paper pads from Honey Bee and they are all awesome. They will not disappoint you, I guarantee you. If you have never ordered any of their paper pads before, um, guys, they are my favorites. Um, they're just beautiful. So I love that they're double-sided and you get two of each sheet. And this pad is absolutely stunning. Look at the colors. 
so pretty and I just love the patterns that are in there too and so many that complement the products that are in the recent release like the candle cover plate die and or honey cut and also that stencil so super super cute just look at all of these beautiful colors oh that purple has my heart and this one here with the confetti at the top and bottom is really cool too so really love that that is the birthday bash six by six paper pad amazing then there's the spring lullaby paper pad and this is also from their uh, latest release the fifth anniversary release it was in april and also just so beautiful and soft and this one just works perfectly with all of those new um, stamp sets that are kind of related to babies and a baby theme um, but i just love it this one's my favorite with the rainbows it's so sweet but I just love these soft pastels. There's hearts and stars and flowers and clouds and all kinds of different um, patterns. There's gingham and stripe and look at these clouds. I just love this paper. I think it's so unique. Never seen anything like it and I think it's it's just really awesome. So loved getting this happy mail today. You know what guys? Days like these, you know, times like these I should say when you get these little bits of happy mail, it's like it really does make your day. So I hope you enjoyed my process today. Please make sure you uh, check the description box below the show more section where I will have listed all of the products I use today for my process and also these new products that are part of my stash. I'm so excited. Have an amazing day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope to see you soon here again on Honeybee.